I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I get to be touched too. I want you. I want you. That we want you. We want you to want us. We do. Wait, wait, wait. We do want you. Let us have you. We do want you. We do want you. We do want you. Let's just dive on in there. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Are we okay? Oh, no! This is the most important the most thing we've most seen so we've seen. far. She knows. Right. Mark, Dana, Tim, yeah. Juan. Yeah, we love you. Oh, you're gorgeous. 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 In here to support Slaughter tonight. Right. Awesome group. <laughs> Number one. Number one two weeks in a row on a dial MTV. Number one. <laughs> we know it. The best. How do you do? Dude. All right. Thank you, man. Kick ass. Our fans kick fucking ass. We fall Okay, hi you guys. I'm, I'm taking you in to see the editing room where we're editing our new long form video. I want to show you guys a little bit of the process of how we're doing this. I've never seen this myself. I've never been in one of these rooms. I will slept over slept a little bit, so I'm going to be a little... How you doing, guys? Hey, oh, right, well, I brought a few friends to see us so editing the video here. here dude. So what was your name? <laughs> no name. No oh, name. Oh, oh, oh. What the hell is this, ma'am? That's not that video. This is where you tried to pick up on the girl. We never got to see this. By the jeep. See Bloss trying to pick up on a girl. Look. There it is. Hey, baby. What's your name? There it is. There's Tim going, forget it. I got her. <laughs> yeah, because it's got the phone number in it that MTV wouldn't show. And it's we got never a uh, shots of the girl's skirt blowing up. I had up. to carry these guys' bags for like two months on the road to pay for the, the amount of money we had to, to get that phone number off of there. That's right. And he's still going to carry them all the way through the next tour. Bloss Elias, ballet. ballet to the stars. Do you have that shot where the girl's dress blows up? Yeah, can you throw that up? There, there it is. is, watch this. So you, know, you see like a little bit of a skirt blowing up. Here we go. Oh, oh, what was that? Up, up, up. There we go. So in other words, you can control backwards, forwards. That's a killer. Yeah, never, that's stuff we is. never saw. <laughs> I didn't know this guy was making a porn flick on our dime. This is cool. Look at this. This is actually cool. I guess paid for this. It's amazing, folks. <laughs> this is killer. Mm -hmm. She's... <laughs> Watch this. This is exciting. <laughs> uh oh. At least we feel I like look, look at his hand. Right there. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. Why don't, we, why don't we see the real thing? Let's see the real video up all night. Take a look at the Take video. Take it away, Charlie. <laughs> See ya, bro. All over right. is going down. And we fight again! The corn case meets the Chinese demand for medicinal derivatives. I think the tiger faces...
too. They got it. As hard as... You know, you know how many people have just died for the chance to come out and just rip open on these cars, you know, without, you know, worrying about the clutch? I mean, you can just beat the you hell out of the car. You don't have to worry about the transmission that we've ruined. You're not caring about your payments. You're As the instructor walks by and goes, what was that you said? <laughs> you just beat the hell out of the car. You don't have to worry. You're not paying for it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the people at Denver Grand Prix asked us to come out and race, and uh, we couldn't do it because we were out on the road. But uh, somehow... Uh, Mario Andretti uh, decided that, you know, hey, we want these guys to go out there and hang with them, and he's going to fly us uh, with his private jet uh, from Hunts, from a couple places out, out and about on the Actually, tour. Actually, it's like four times, back and forth, because we have concerts every day, and we got to fly in once for another rehearsal, driving. We fly back, play a concert, wake up the next morning, fly again for the time trials, and fly back again into Texas, come back one more time for the actual race, Go back, play another day, and then don't we have like, then, a party? Yeah, then there's a party. party. Then there's a party with uh, guys and crew, I guess uh, some people from Skid Row and uh, Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. Molly, kinds Molly of Crew's people. favorite person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, kind of like I do my drum exercises, I was practicing foot motions, you know. But uh, <clears throat> it's just a matter of getting it, you know, smoothly.
go from here to Palmdale Airport, you're going to drive, right? Yeah. Are you driving or are you flying? Driving. You okay, got fine. You're driving. You got him. Just stand, stand tight. We're going to go to the Palmdale Airport. All right, we're, we're going to take a small flight. We're going to go into the studio tonight. You're going to meet us at the studio tonight. And everybody's got all their shit from here. We're going to get it from what upstairs and bail. Call, what my, you're gonna call do is my, my phone, my cellular phone. To the call that that, that way you'll know why I'm And I'll give you the studio phone number. Here comes the helicopter for the Molly crew, guys. Three more million records to go, and we almost might be able to afford that. In the meantime, America in the, West Airlines. In the meantime, America West Airlines, here we come, and we'll take you with us. So come on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Marcus, I need to get a level real quick. Ah, yeah! Ah, yeah! A little bit of talking. A little bit of talking. Just one, two. Next, when Bring it on. on. Bring it on. Only one slim chance for survival, Geo Jones. I can't even write it! When on assignment continues. Hey, wait a second. Don't play that backwards, man. There's messages there. Hey, give me, give me the level again, man. Hot night in the Big Apple. Woo! my lips but I'm not singing. I'm, I'm just breathing. He's breathing. I swear to God. He's breathing. Well, well something's moving out there because I see the meter moving when he's not singing. Well it wasn't me. Look at that. Your big ass feet stomping on the ground? Yeah I was stomping my feet but you I can't be head banging while he's singing eight inches from your ass. <laughs> we're gonna beat you like a redheaded stepchild. <laughs> Sorry bud. No tell Bloss the same thing with his drumsticks with that he's out there twirling around. Like Hunter Douglas. Are you, are, is anything happening out there besides you smiling? Nope. Okay, should anything be happening? Should you be like executive producing oh, Mark's vocal? Hold on, let's sing it. I can executive Bob produce this whole thing. Bob's the lion, king of the wild frontier. Why don't you actually just come into control room? He sounds to me like he's going to be on a roll. And an isolated suspension cradle. Yeah, bring those sticks. They're obviously important. Here we go. <laughs>
Howdy, guys. Well, we said we were going to show you Las Vegas. The first thing we're going to do is show you where we live. This is my modest domicile. I used to live in a refrigerator box, and now, as you see, life has changed to a certain extent. It was just a story about the ones that got away. Hey, all right, here we are. How's it going, guys? Hey, how you doing? What's happening? Come on in. Hi, welcome to my house. This is where I'm going to be living for the next few years. Dana lives right up the hill this way, so we're neighbors. Tim lives just down the hill. I've been practicing throwing so I can throw rocks on the top of his house. Mark lives down the valley, a bit down there, so we're all close enough to each other to bother each other, just far enough away so we won't get on each other's nerves too much. This is my dog, Mac. Say hi to the camera, Mac. Lots and lots of bubbles. My neighbors, I got neighbors. This neighbor right here. Everything How you doing? The people who live here are just a retired couple. They just bought their dream home. And uh, I'm gonna have my drum set right here in the living room. The people on the other side of me are just married, just starting out, and uh, I'm sure they're gonna enjoy my company here. I don't think anybody knows I'm here yet, or else these houses are probably gonna go back out in the market. That's my own version of the Flintstones modern day. And uh, it actually is a spa at the same time. You kind of lift up this panel in a rock where the rock comes up and it becomes a control panel. And then you've got air control, which will basically turn on your entire spa for those long, hard, cold days at the office. So let's get all revved up and go out and hit the town. What do you say? So, here's the first leg of our tour of Las Vegas, our home. This is where I used to teach guitar uh, about four and a half years ago. I taught for about two years. I had 272 students a month. And uh, this is Vesley Music, a great place to come when you come to Vegas. Come on in, we'll show you around. Jerry, come on out of here, man. Hey, what's happening, Marty? Here's Mark's old boss. This is my old boss. This is Jerry Vesley. He's my hero. Ah, oh, no, you're... Why well, Jerry Vesley's paychecks bounced the last week? Yeah, oh, really? Oh, yeah. I, Marky was, did a great job for you for years and years and years, and I've told him that, and I'll tell you guys that. He's the greatest guitar teacher on the planet, as far as I'm concerned. Here's $100. Yeah, thanks. Thank really you. <laughs> did you see the shrine that did that? That's right. The shrine. This, this is a very important thing. Which is not the wall of shame. This is the wall of... Worst in shame. It's every Slaughter magazine picture taken from the tour, taken from our early publicity. Can I introduce you to somebody over here? I'd like to introduce you to Mark Slaughter of yesterday. Yep, this is very true. This is my buddy Mark. This is me a long time ago. Don't, don't, don't look at this. Uh, this is going to be my new set. I had the big chrome one with the big rack. But see, I couldn't go anywhere bigger than that, so I figured I'd go back to the basics. and. This is the new set, it's up all night. Two, two boys, two boys in a candy store, I'm telling you. I don't know, man. Welcome to Glossy Life Lanzino, located here on Charleston Avenue. Where everyone wins and Blossy Elias loses. Yeah, Jimmy
over. That's right. Oh, Thank you. you. And now we're backstage at the Lido. Yeah. You're actually backstage in a corridor in a hotel in Las Vegas where normally we would even never be allowed to do this. It's I called can't, Stardust Hotel. I can't quite believe that our publicist made arrangements for this, but supposedly we're going to meet dancing girls and you're going to see the vibe of what happens in Las Vegas, Nevada. Look at that. Wait, 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 wait. Well, look at that. Wonderful. This is more like the vibe. This is way more than that. Any of you guys out there that have always wondered what goes on backstage in Las Vegas, Nevada, this, this is, it. is a very fine example of it. <laughs> Beautiful women here in Las Vegas. I say you're getting ready. I say you don't need to get any more ready. As a matter of fact, any more ready and the camera's going to melt, right? Anyway, so you guys wear things like this? Yes. Oh, yeah. Just on Sunday. Just on Sunday. Oh, they're good, they're, good, they're good girls. I'd like to see Tim Kelly close to you. I'd like to see what that would look like. Oh, I think that, look at that. That's so cute. Woo! Yeah. And what's the reason you guys came to Las Vegas? I mean, you're all from like, money, like, money, 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 Floss Elias. How old are you? 33. <laughs> He's shucking and jiving. Yeah, Floss is a known shuck and jive artist. 33 minus how many numbers? <laughs> minus try 10. Try 10. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Would you By the still time be this is out. The point is, would you still be willing to go out with someone that looked like that? She's answering for him. I have a really good question. Uh -uh. I want to know how come everyone has curly hair and you have straight hair. Because that's the only way I got this job, you see. <laughs> we asked. We need a straight hair guy. Uh -huh. like, like, with a big like, mouth. With a big mouth. <laughs> 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 I have a question. Uh -huh. okay. I want to know, would anyone like a beer? Yeah. Oh this wow! Is, this is, this is what you guys drink every night. Yeah, so, we get so really, really thirsty. here we thought that Las Vegas was such a clean place. We were talking to wholesome girls that have more beer in their dressing room than we have in ours. Ooh! How is so you guys, if you, you have to call us. Like wonderful. <laughs> so guys, we're all gonna have to head downtown now. We want to say yo, thanks, and we'll see you for drinks, right? Sure. Sounds right. good. Margarita, okay. margarita. Margarita Bill. Margarita Bill. See ya. See ya. Later. See ya. Okay. We're going downtown. Let's Ciao. go. Come on. All right. Let's, Let's go. Ready? Come on. Am I overdressed? No, no you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's like daytime in the nighttime. As if you, you turn see, around. The light is turning green back there, but we just want you guys to experience a little bit of the lights and uh, hopefully you saw some of the glamour as well of what goes down here in Las Vegas. That cowboy right there has been there since I can remember. That was one of the basic landmarks of Las Vegas. Wait a second. What What's is this? this? What is What's this? this? See, Las Vegas is like a big carnival. We want to introduce it? you to our camera. Come on, there we go. Baby. How are you? Okay, okay you. so what are you handing out here? Let's okay, see. Lot uh -huh. players, your first cannibal is free. Free. <laughs> free. Our favorite four Our letter favorite word. word. Besides cash, that is. <laughs> anyway, so what do we do? We get to go in here and pull a yeah, slot? How far in is the slot? Oh, you have to go up to the change booth, then they hustle you for a couple bucks. Hi. Yeah, there she goes. What's your name? Frankie. Frankie. Well, Frankie, thank you, but we're going to go ahead and continue our tour of Las Vegas. Okay, where are you guys from? From Las Vegas. Oh, what's in me? Yeah. No, don't forget that. Yeah, yeah. Get a camera, get a camera right yeah. here. What did you just say when we walked past My him? daughter likes them. And how would you know that? Because she told me she's got posters all over the wall. Of, of water. You're kidding me. No. Here so we are. Where are you, so from? you got four degenerates like us. Phoenix, you got Arizona. four degenerates like us standing around you. How does that make you feel? Oh, she's gonna die. She's gonna die. You're sure? Yes. Tell I them that. Her. She's gonna die. She's gonna kill me. She's gonna say, why didn't you take me? And here we are having here fun. Here we are taking you. No, I need on. an autograph for okay. her. Okay, okay. Hurry, well, we'll be happy to do it. Pull out your roadmap of Las Vegas. Yeah. One envelope. 
Well, yeah, this was oh, the Bellboy's autograph right here. Oh, God. Let's autograph for these. We just went to see the Elvis impersonator. Oh, the Elvis impersonator. So oh, we're going to get Slaughter and the Elvis impersonator. Give me a fan. Thank you. Here we go. So the Elvis impersonator. That's, that's not for my daughter. Oh, that's you for know, you. That's so you're going to cut this in half. See, it says right there, I'm not Elvis. Right there, see? One, one thing that we probably haven't touched on that's kind of important, this town runs primarily on gambling. Even though it says great late night steak at $1.99, the real sign to get is this one. Single deck blackjack, because blackjack, sports, craft, baccarat, roulette, is really what makes this town run. Flat machine. So I'm afraid very shortly we're going to have to go earn a little extra cash. Bossy oh. Ohio, do you see what these girls have strapped to their dresses? You have to see this to believe it. I don't think there's any place in the world where you can find girls with dollars strapped to their dresses, right? No other place, right? He just won $16? See you later, guys. We're gonna be kidding. Hold it. Hold it. Hey, you better fumble on her, man. We found, we found a girl that was actually at our KISS show at the Meadowlands. In three words or less, what did you we think of what together. you saw? Was, you did? Yeah. Look, I always go. go to the Meadowlands. My friend you, you like it? That's awesome. Yeah? Great. You guys are great. Are you lying because you're under pressure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we met a few close and personal intimate friends here on our little walk through downtown Las Vegas. And we're going to ask a few people what band they listen to with no coaxing whatsoever. What band do you listen to? Slaughter! What band do you listen to? Slaughter! Slaughter! Yes, Slaughter! Okay! Yeah. Slaughter! Yeah. Slaughter! Yeah. Slaughter! Friend of mine that I went to high school with, and um, I had all my friends in Las Vegas actually looking for me. And I thought I'd go back and I was gonna hopefully get back together with them. And uh, one of my friends uh, called me up one night and said, uh, I have some really bad news for you. He said, uh, she, Cindy, which is her name, which we dedicated this song on a record to, uh, died two days ago, and her funeral's tomorrow. So uh, I went to this, went to the funeral, and Kind of a kind of a strange thing. I, I thought I'd write a song about instead of glorifying death or suicide, a song about letting go of something you really care about. So that's what the song's about. Thank you. 
Strum and I were in a previous band before this, and uh, we uh, tasted a little bit of success, and uh, we wanted to move on forward to have a band, an all-for-one, one-for-all situation. And uh, we kept looking for the, the guitar players and drummers. In fact, we got 12 moving boxes of cassettes, videotapes of people that lit themselves on fire and everything else you can imagine. And uh, we still didn't find these people. After six months, we finally found Tim, actually. Tim, I met at a barbecue, and it wasn't, I didn't even know if he was a guitar player. In fact, the first thing that Tim ever said to me was, do you want weenies or chicken? And I did, we just got along very well, and that was, that was something we really wanted in this band, is to have it to where everybody got along really well, and, and, uh... You could hang on a tour bus first, together. Yeah, you could hang on a tour bus to where we wouldn't get in fights and go stir-crazy here. And, uh, so... Through the barbecue, we started rapping, had a good time, and a little bit later, I says, hey, I'm a guitar player, by the way. And uh, next thing you know, um, we were uh, still forming the band, getting it together. I was writing material with Dana. And uh, Las Elias, our drummer, I called him up. We were having a cattle call of drummers, about 30, 40 drummers. And uh, I called Las two days before, right? Two days before he auditioned me, he didn't even give me a chance. <laughs> so anyway, um, he told me to send a videotape out to him, and I was like, you know, if I send a videotape, they're like, I don't know, this is just he wouldn't even get there until after the audition, so I figured it's like not even a chance. So I called him Friday night, and they weren't home, so I left a message on their answer machine, and um, decided I was going to come out anyway, even if they didn't from know Houston, I was coming. Texas, from Houston, Texas, too. I mean, he's from Houston, Texas, and, and one thing that we really saw in Bloss, as well as being a very talented drummer, is that he flew himself out because, of course, we don't have any money. Without even enough money to get home. Yeah, without yeah, any money to get home. He didn't tell they us were that. Stuck with me from that point. We didn't, he didn't even tell us that. I remember seeing a picture of Bloss on Mark's floor in his bedroom before Bloss was actually out in the band when they were still searching for people. And I said to Mark, I said, God, this guy looks great. I wonder if he can play. And we both looked at each other and said, probably not. Because <laughs> usually, you know, in Hollywood, the way it is. Yeah, in know, Hollywood, it's like a lot of times. If you have good luck, you can't play. Yeah, that's a shuck and jive artist from Texas here. But, uh, <laughs> pretty interesting. And, and the material was put together over a period of about two and a half weeks on a four track. It was so quick. And we had the melody ideas, but we didn't have any of the lyrics. Or I didn't have any lyrics, that was my responsibility, and Dana thought I had that taken care of. And I went in the ISO booth, and Dana pressed play and record, and uh, I just started laughing. He's like, well, what's wrong? And I said, well, I haven't even written the lyrics yet. And, of course, Dana broke out in a little bit of a cold sweat at that point. <laughs> and uh, I just started writing lyrics on pieces of paper, pizza boxes, domino pizza boxes. Tim went out for pizza, and... Uh, and I was just writing on on anything. And I think that average-wise, the lyrics on this record were literally written in an hour a song, I'd say, right? About an hour a song. Now, very much the lyrics on the record were written about things that were happening around that time. Yeah, so just, I can remember walking into the studio and hearing um, um, the very, very first opening line of Fly of the Angels, and Dana played it back and listen to this. Like, wow. And I can remember desperately hearing him saying, You never say what's on your mind. In, in Slaughter, one thing that's, that's really nice is Dana and I, our perception from the very beginning was to find two other guys that we can be a band from the very beginning. And what we did is we, we found the right people that were friends as well as good players. And that was very important to us because we want a band that's going to be around a long time and that, that uh, we can make good music and have good times with it.
Well, I'm glad that's all.